Right, hi YouTube. Now, I've actually come to photograph a very iconic and famous location today. I've come to photograph uh, Stonehenge. Um, now, I've come to the very first location. We've got some really nice moody skies behind us, and we're probably about an hour away from sunset at the moment. No real colours in the sky, but we've got some nice colours, some nice uh, golden light on Stonehenge at the moment. Um, now, it's been a bit interesting. I've already been quizzed by the security up here. Um, why I'm uh, shooting at this location. Um, to be fair, the guy was really friendly and he did point out um, to get the, the comet a bit later, which I'm hoping that I want to be shooting down a bit lower. Sorry about that cut, guys. Um, I had to kind of move out of the way of people because of the COVID thing. Um, I'm stood out in the path here. Um, you probably hear the helicopters going behind me as well. We've had a Chinook and two, um, they look like Apaches. Uh, so it's quite cool to look at those. Um, as I was saying, yeah, the security guards did come over and they did give me some tips really to um, uh, shoot the comet. But they did also involve not being anywhere around here and kind of going down to the road to shoot it. So I don't know if they had a hidden agenda behind that. It does always make me kind of wonder why um, we get asked such stupid questions as photographers um, when security guards come up to us. Um, I am on the public path here. I'm not on the actual... Um, heritage england land or anything so um, i'm well within my right to shoot it um now we got two two totally different skies at the moment we've got a really clear or semi-clear sky behind us which is going to be really cool because that's when the comet neowise is going to be appearing tonight um so hopefully we're going to be able to get that comet shooting into stonehenge and get it behind it um, and the clouds behind Stonehenge at the moment are quite heavy, they're quite moody and quite kind of overcast. So hopefully those clouds behind Stonehenge are going to pick up some nice light during sunset. Um, and then hopefully after sunset I'll be able to shoot down the other side of Stonehenge and um, kind of <coughs> get the Neowise, the comet in the background, which should work out really nicely. So I'm not going to show me um, video and anything here or any of the pictures I've taken here. Um, I will just quickly go through the settings I was doing, just, just so you know when you see the images. Um, I've been shooting with a Lee Big Stopper 10 stop filter and a soft grad pulled all the way down to 0.9 to get a really, really strong ND on that, probably like a 15 stop filter it works out. Um, and I've been shooting at F16 with a remote release on doing 120 second images to get a, a nice exposure. Doing a few of those and also doing just a few 30 second images. Clouds are moving very slowly, although it is a bit windy and um, I'm kind of doing a mixture of really kind of soft, um, long exposure of the clouds and a bit more kind of definition, a bit more of a freeze in the clouds. So you'll see them, see what you think of them. Um, what I'm probably gonna do now is go down to the other side of Stonehenge, do a bit of a recce, maybe try and get somewhere that I can shoot the sun through some of the kind of gaps in it and get a bit of star bursts. Not sure how well that's gonna work at the moment, to be honest. Um, but I'm gonna go down there now, kind of work out where I'm gonna be shooting later, try and get back up this way for sunset. So I might catch up with you then as you go through some of the images. Um, and then it's just a matter of going to the location I can get the comet from really. So hopefully, fingers crossed tonight, um, the disaster that happened the other day trying to get the comet, hopefully it's gonna work out cool tonight. So keep your eyes um, peeled. Um, I'll be back in a little bit um, at various locations and let's see what images we can get today. Life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know So I've come to a slightly different vantage point now um, You can see Stonehenge in the background there um, the saga with the security guards continues. Um, I've come into this field now, this meadow, um, which is kind of below the rope. The rope is actually quite high up there. It's quite far away. Um, now, this meadow is actually owned by a farmer. It's not owned by the National Trust. Um, the guy, the supervisor up there did warn me that if I come in here, I'd potentially get reported for trespassing. Um, I did walk up there because I didn't really, to be fair, know where he meant to start off with because he said he talked about going to some hills to shoot it from. Turns out the hills are like two, three fields away 
um, to my right now you can't see but they're really far in the distance um, I thought he's on about a little hill here which you just can't see which is in this meadow uh, his kind of colleague came over and had a little chat and I just said look you know I know I'm probably not officially meant to be here but um, you know I'm going to be respectful I'm not going to go near the stones I just want to stay away and I've come, kind of come to an agreement that I'm going to shoot these scenes in the field but right by the A308 um, simply because um, it looks then to everyone that goes past me that I'm kind of stood by the road and I'm not in the field so where I am from this location I'm probably going to be a bit cheeky and just walk a few meters further up just to get a slightly better composition but I'm not going to be taking the mick um, I'm going to stay here the guards are only actually here until, and I'm not going to tell you the time because obviously it might pose a security risk for the stones, but there will be a time I can get down here and the guards won't be here. Um, so I'm going to be utilising that to come down here and not go anywhere near the stones, um, still stay within the meadow, um, but shoot the comet a bit later. So at the moment, what I'm going to be doing is just getting the shots from here. Um, probably not going to talk through many of these shots because I'm right by the road it's very noisy um, what I'm going to be doing um, I'm not going to show you the shots sorry but I'll talk through them what I'm simply going to be doing is I'm just going to wait for the sun to start coming into the kind of right behind the um, Stonehenge and I'm going to be trying to get some star bursts um, when the star kind of bursts out the problem I've got is to get that and to get some nice star burst i really like to be shooting with my 16 to 35 mil lens because that's a really good lens for that but i can get close to the stones as i've just said um, i've got to stay away from them really the agreement i've made so i'm going to be using my um uh 24 to 105 lens it's not quite as good at starring that sun out um but I'll, i will give my 16 to 35 a, a, a try as well um, it's going to be a very wide shot but I'll see if I can kind of crop in a bit and make it work as well probably got about something like 10 minutes I reckon before the sun works its way in front of the, the henge so my aim to get this shot is to simply use um, no filters because um, with filters if you're shooting straight into the sun you can sometimes get streaks and weird effects on them sun flares and things like that I'm going to be shooting straight into it and I'm going to be shooting at a high aperture and the high aperture is what is going to give me the star burst it's going to burst it out the other tip for star burst is try and line the sun up so it's just coming behind an object so you've not got the whole sun some of it's getting blocked um, that means that it'll burst out and you'll get a better image for it so I'm going to be shooting high aperture low ISO um, fast shutter speed to try and get that sun to kind of freeze and get the bursts um, and that's pretty much it really I can't really talk you through much of it I'm going to get this camera set up now um, crack on get some images hopefully they'll come out quite nicely and I'll catch up with you at the next location I'm not 100% sure where that location is going to be now for the, the the kind of proper sunset because the sky is really cleared it's really really cleared which is brilliant for the comet not so good for sunset colors though and at the moment the most cloud is still behind us so i'm probably going to be heading back up that way um, back into the actual bit you're allowed in and up to the stonehenge to photograph down this way into the clouds a bit later i'll probably get another earful for the security guard when i'm up there um, but i'll crack on with this location now and i'll catch up with you at the next one in a few minutes time Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Right guys, um, I'm probably at the last location now for sunset. Hopefully you can join me in next week's video, which is going to be me trying to get the comment down here. Um, it's going to be a bit interesting. I've got to shoot it around about 11 o'clock, I think, half 11. Um, so I'm going to have to uh, sneak to the bottom of the field again. Um, I'm getting attacked by these like really awful bugs. They're like May 
flies, may bugs, you get them every year. Um, I've seen them loads of times before, but I've never been anywhere where they just attack you. Keep on literally having to bash them away. Um, got one now again. There you go. One on the camera. Attacking the uh, filters now. Um, the security guards are just looking at me really funny now because I'm speaking to myself, but I'm beating some bugs off. Um, not literally. So, um, yeah, um, the light has kind of gone quite nice. It's got this nice pink hue. Um, unfortunately, the clouds have literally just totally cleared off down there, so we have not been able to get any kind of nicer images. Um, but it's got some nice soft pastels in the sky. Unfortunately, it's somewhere I've shot before Stonehenge, and I think you do need those clouds to make it work. You need either clouds or kind of sunburst um, stuff coming through it, things like that, to to get it when you just shoot onto it um without good light it's um it never ends up that great so um i think they're going to be nice but don't think they're going to be anything amazing um because i've done this video i will fire up some of the shots of stonehenge i took in the past that was just literally when i drove past and i literally ran down to the camera when it was around sunset um, not a proper kind of photography outing or anything like that um but yeah the images they're nice don't get me wrong um they're very soft kind of nice pastels but nothing really to um write home about i'll just quickly go through how i'm shooting if you're interested i've got a um, 0.9 soft grad on and i'm shooting at f16 and that's giving me a five second exposure at an iso 50 at the moment not really much more to say than that i'm shooting with my 24 to 105 you do need a bit of a tele lens here um, so don't come with a wide angle unless you're going to pay to get in and you might be able to get a bit closer but definitely shooting from the path here you definitely need something with a bit of telephoto kind of range on it um yeah i'll leave it at that now i'm just getting attacked um hope you've enjoyed this one hope you've um enjoyed the images from it somewhere you don't really see photograph that much you don't really see many photographs of stonehenge so nice to get down in nice to get some images um hopefully the images of the, the comet are going to look quite nice catch up with me in the next video i did have a plan of going down there with a torch and kind of trying to talk you through the steps i was doing with it not 100 percent sure if that's going to happen with um the security guards here now um i probably will do it but i'm gonna have to stick to the fence when i'm doing those bits so um yeah i'll catch up with you on the next video um thanks for watching this one and i'll see you in the future even if i'm falling down i will keep on searching for my highs you can say i lost my mind i will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down Get up and start from the ground